In this video, I'll demonstrate that even when appliances are able to discharge current to their grounded chassis, they won't trip a GFCI circuit, and how they're able to do that. I'll demonstrate actual current flow through the grounded chassis and explain the theory behind how that current is able to flow through it without causing a line to neutral imbalance that trips the GFCI. Here we have a AA battery with a 47 ohm resistor soldered to the top of it. This meter is set on current, DC current for this demonstration, and traditionally current is measured in line with the meter, where the meter is actually in line with the circuit. And that's what this Fluke 115 is able to do. I'm going to measure the current through this circuit here, and a little ohm's law tells us that 1.5 volts divided by 47 ohms is going to be somewhere around 30 milliamps. And that's where we're getting around 30 milliamps right there. Next, instead, I'm placing this battery on the chassis of a cooktop that is connected on a GFI circuit. I'm going to pass this current through the chassis. One side of the battery is connected to the chassis, and the other side through this resistor, and I'm going to place this lead on the chassis, and current is going to flow into the chassis. Now you notice I'm still getting around 30 milliamps, but it's going through the chassis here. All right, so that current is flowing into the chassis, but why did not it trip the GFI? Well, the reason is because it is not flowing back to the breaker box, it's flowing back to the source. And a spark module, and when the spark discharges, it discharges into the chassis, into the chassis ground, and returns back to the source. It does not go back to the breaker box. 30 milliamps would have been easily enough to trip the GFI, and it didn't. Also think about a microwave. Microwave, the secondary of a microwave is grounded. You have a lot more than 6 milliamps flowing into the chassis. However, the one side of the transformer of the microwave is bonded to the chassis, and the return path for the magnetron goes right back to that transformer system. So no current flows back to the breaker box and does not trip the GFI. The reason appliances are able to use a grounded chassis as an intentional path for current flow is because the source of current is from a secondary circuit like this. This is, a, this is an isolation transformer that represents a secondary circuit. It could be a spark module, it could be a DSI module, or just be a transformer. The, this side of the transformer is, or this side of the circuit is bonded to ground, much like the ground wire is. However, when this represents a separate source of current, and when this, that source of current flows through its load and then goes back to the chassis, it will return back to its source rather than return, rather than flow down through the chassis and back to the breaker box via the ground wire. It does not flow through here. What happens is when this current increases, current flows through here, yet the current flowing through here is balanced. So the current through line and the current through neutral still is the same, even though we have current flowing into the chassis and then back into the secondary source of current. So that's how you're able to pass current through the chassis, a grounded chassis, without tripping the GFCI. So when I go to light a burner, that spark will discharge to the chassis, but it's not actually discharging the ground. It's discharging back to the spark module. And so you have no differential current passing back to the breaker box. And no tripping of a GFI. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.